Well, while soldiers are on the front lines protecting our nation, a generation of children are waiting for mom or dad to come home. To bring laughter and joy to those children, one nonprofit organization is keeping military kids active through camps and sports. Good news story. Joining me now is Shane Hudella, the president of United Heroes League and also a U.S. Army veteran. Shane, let me start by thanking you for your service. Thank you for being here today. I absolutely love this story. Talk about why you got into this to help the kids of deployed parents on the ball field. Hey, Brian, thanks so much for having me on. And um, I, I had the fortune to wear a uniform for 24 years. And uh, during that time, especially later in my career, when I was in charge of subordinates and, and in charge of um, those folks staying mentally fit and physically fit, uh, I, I started to see a trend, and, and that trend was that men and women like me that sign the dotted line and, and know what we're getting into, uh, our kids don't, and, and there's a lot of stress yeah. for them, and, and that correlates to readiness on the battlefield for the men and women that go downrange. So uh, 2008, I, I had the idea, hey, I've, I've met a couple pro hockey players, I'm going to start a nonprofit to take care of the kids and keep them in the game they love. Fantastic, Shane. You know, I think about those parents who are deployed, they're away from their kids, and, you know, they're, they're always wondering, how are my kids doing? Are they involved? Are they active? You know, are they staying busy? What does it mean to parents to know their kids are getting more opportunities at home to be involved in great activities like this? Well, for the parents, it's one less thing for them to worry about when they're downrange, and it's... Um, amazing the amount of parents that tell us, especially uh, lower ranking service members, that tell us they just simply couldn't have their kids in mm -hmm. playing the game that they love without us. So um, it, it increases readiness and puts that mind at ease for the folks downrange and, and for the kids, it really it gives them a way to cope. It's really not about giving that kid a hockey stick or a football or a, a baseball glove. It's getting them mm. out and, and getting them in front of a positive role model, a coach mm. while mom or dad are gone, keeping them engaged with other kids and, and giving them an outlet on a playing field to get rid of some stress. Shane, talk about some of the cool things that these kids get to do. It's not about putting a hockey stick in their hands, but there's some pretty neat opportunities you make available to these kids. Tell us about it. Sure, we've been really lucky. We have 140 pro athlete ambassadors now from six different sports. And it's one of the funnest things that we do. Um, those athletes will come out and work with the kids for a day. They'll meet them after a game. Uh, the special experience part of, of not only giving the kids free head to toe equipment and giving them a grant to help pay their fees, but to then bring them to a, a football camp and, and have a, a pro football player come out and thank them for what their families do and, and give them some tips and uh, give them some encouragement as it's lifelong memories for these families. I see some Minnesota sports gear in the background. I'm a fellow Minnesotan. I wish those teams were just a little bit better. It'd even be more of a thrill for those kids if we got a championship in Minnesota, but maybe you can work on that with some of your friends. It's the United Heroes League, a great cause. Shane Hudella, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Brian.